Hi, good people. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Shandipan and I am a web developer based on WordPress and Laravel. I am here to guide you how, on how you build your business website from the beginning and how to boost your business online. Today, uh, I am going to share you a real life experience. Ask me to transfer a uh, near about 300 product category list. You can see here near about 300 product category list uh, transferred to his new site. So, uh, you know, it's uh, you know, uh, when you uh, need to transfer a complete site, it's easy, but uh, this uh, person come to me only to tra need, need the transfer this product product list, I mean the product category list. So after that, uh, after uh, knowing his requirement, I have researched a lot and I have found uh, a premium plugins, which is WP All Import. By using this plugin, um, today I will show you how you can uh, transfer, I mean uh, copy all of those category list to a new site. So let's begin the journey and I will show you how you can transfer this. Okay, already I have installed the plugins WP All Export and WP All Import. So from where you want to transfer, I mean copy the uh, category list, you need to install the WP All Export plugins and uh, where you want to import, you want to need to install WP All Import. So already I have installed these plugins, so I don't need uh, to install again. So for now, I'll click on All Export and New Export. Then click on Taxonomies. Then after that, in the product categories. So here, uh, uh, you are watching, I have found the um, 277 categories. You know, if you, cop uh, if you uh, uh, copy and paste these categories, then it, it will take uh, many times, even uh, a few people have uh, 500 thousands of categories. So it's quite impossible to copy or write um, individually. So it's, it's quite hard. So by doing this method, you can do it easily. So here uh, I click on migrate. Okay, you don't need to do anything here. Just confirm and run export. It's great, right? And now I have to download this. So I'll click on bundle. By clicking on bundle, I will see it will uh, download various formats like the uh, csv file you can see the csv file and the text file so uh, i only want only the csv files okay so um, I just drag this file to a desktop to my desktop. Now I will click on the site where I want to import it. So to import it, I will click on all import and new import. After that, I will upload the file. Here is the file. Okay. Then taxonomies, I will select the product categories from here. Then continue to step two. So everything is looking good. There is nothing to do. Then continue to step three.
here I have to do something else. You know, uh, on the other side I have the categories where uh, also I have the child categories. So I have to uh, make sure uh, in the child category I have to. Um, so here I will just. Here is the parent ID. You can see the, the request for parent term. So here is the parent term. I just click and drag. Right. And then uh, set set select manually. Uh, so here is the term ID. Right. So here I will mm, click on. I will drag the term name and the category name and since uh, i don't have any description i mean they don't have any description so i will just use the name here okay so here uh, everything's fine and then continue close to four So I don't need the image URL. Continue because they don't have any image. You can see here. Then confirm and run import. So you'll we'll see the steps are completing. You can see the process 40 to 177. So you have to wait a couple of seconds here. To completing the job yeah import completed so let me see uh, the result yeah you can see everything is nice okay so i hope you are enjoying this video and i uh, and if you have any question uh, do uh, leave in the comments below that's it for today uh, i hope you like the video do leave a like comment below and share the video if you think the video will help someone and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you my friend